hi guys you're welcome to my channel my name is diana if you're coming across this channel for the first time my name is diana on my channel i do share anything about uk lifestyle nursing in uk migration updates and everything interesting and exciting you can think of this video is just going to be a short vlog and it is about my empty one bedroom apartment tour just to give you a fair idea of what to expect or how uk apartments look like so in case you're moving either on your own either to study to work to live here either with your family at least this should give you a fair idea of what to expect so i hope you enjoy it and you've got any questions or any comments please don't forget to put it in the comment section please like comment and subscribe and also share this video enjoy so in this video i'm just giving you a tour of my empty one bedroom apartment so that you can have a fair idea of how a one bedroom flat could look like so that you can plan especially if you are moving with family it will give you a fair idea of what to expect There is this small rack or hanging thing up here where you can hang your coats and everything. Lots of storage up there. This is the main door. This is like a telephone where if somebody wants to get into the flat, they will just press the bell down and once you pick this up, you press this and then it lets them in from the main door downstairs. See how it is. So that's an inbuilt wardrobe over there, and that's the bed frame. So all you need to bring along is your mattress. That's a second inbuilt wardrobe. So from so that's the actual view. So there are two inbuilt wardrobes, one on one on each end of the bed which is really, really nice. And a lot of storage space up there. So, you can hang all your things up here on the hanger and you can fold the rest of the stuff that you want to fold. There is enough space for you to fold all of them down here. So it's a very, very spacious wardrobe. And that's a small bedside um, cabinet. So, so this is where you can keep your body lotions and all that. There is also a lot of space it's like this. It's a three tier bedside cabinet. So there is plenty of storage for you to keep all your stuff in there. And that's the radiator to heat up the house. And this window also opens up to the high street. So if you want to close it up, you just use this string to open it, to close it. And if you want to open it up, you just pull it down and then it opens. It opens up to the street. So, so it opens up to the street so you can actually see whatever is going on in the street in the comfort of your room which is really really nice it's quite a nice view actually and that's the router for the internet over there that's pretty much it for the bedroom it's quite spacious and i love the two inbuilt wardrobes it doesn't take so much space so it makes the bedroom more spacious
this is the hallway again the same hallway and this leads to the living room so as you enter there's this two in one sofa here and normally most of the flats come unfurnished but the landlady was kind enough to leave this sofa behind and there's the window that leads outside And these are shelves you can actually decorate to your taste to make it more homely for you. And that's a lovely picture frame over there. That's another shelf. That's the single sofa. And that's a work table over here in case you need to do some work on your computer or something. It's quite a spacious living room. And that's the radiator to heat up the house. So looking at it from a distance, it's quite a spacious, very, very spacious living room. These wires connect to your TV. Now let's check out the bathroom. So that's the shower so you just turn it if you want to turn it on you just turn it to your left and then it turns on so you use this to regulate the hot water depending on how hot or how cold you want it so if you want it to be hotter you turn it more to the right and if you want it cold you turn it to the left so that's the bath And that's a towel rack over there. And you can also hang something up here on that. You can close the shower curtain or open it as and when you want. Um, and this metal thing here, you can arrange all your stuff here very, very nicely. And this is a cabinet for storing stuff so you can keep your shower gel and all of that over here there is a lot of storage up there as well and that's the wash basin So that's that for the bathroom actually. So this is the hallway that leads to the kitchen so there's this double fridge over here so that's the fridge enough space in the fridge and there's also three different compartments down here for the freezer so it's very very spacious actually you can do it all your monthly or weekly shopping and then keep them all in your freezer that's the washing machine and these are cabinets where you can keep all your cutlery your plates your bowls your cooking utensils so you can keep your cutlery in this space and there's enough space for cooking utensils another space here and that's the oven so if you wish to grill anything if you wish to do your chicken and all that so let's see so 
so this is a four burner oven so as you can see them and you turn it on using this button there's another space where you can keep some kitchen stuff so this is actually not a cabinet it's a hub so it's just to absorb the vapor uh, coming from the food you are cooking so if you want to turn it on you just open the, it this way and there are buttons here as you turn it on you hear the sound coming that absorb all the stuff coming from the food you're cooking and if you want light you just turn it on here and then it gives you some light and this is another cabinet where you can keep all your kitchen stuff in so as you close it back the light and everything including the sound goes off so that's another space for your stuff so the this is the working space so that's quite large enough that's the sink enough space for your microwave for your kettle anything that you need to do it's quite a spacious kitchen and that's the window which opens up to the outside so whilst you're cooking you can actually see whatever is going on so if you just pull this down it opens the windows and you can actually see whatever is going on so as you can as you're cooking you have a very, very lovely view so let's just open the, yeah if you want to open the windows for fresh air whilst you're cooking you just open it and so i'll just be looking out there whilst i'm doing my cooking which is very very lovely it's quite a lovely view so we can close it back Thank you so much for watching this is where it ends for now i hope you did enjoy it stay tuned for more videos like this and if you've not subscribed yet please comment like share and subscribe see you in the next one Bye bye